How's it going? This is tutorial number two. Um, hopefully you've watched the first tutorial and your nudes have been deleted. Um, from here we're going to start on some missions. And we're going to talk about what these are. Missions in Slave Hack 2 are randomly generated and have varying uh, degrees of difficulty. Uh, as you level up you'll unlock more mission types. Um, because we're only level 2, we have these grey ones here, and these are delete missions. So we, to accept these missions, we'll, uh, we'll click one, and we just accept. Uh, we can select up to six at once, but we're just going to start off with one for this video. Um, the mission gives you the employer, uh, the target, what you need to do in this case delete the file that we need to delete uh, how much money we're going to get and how much reputation we're going to earn so from what we can see here we need to delete this file from this mpc so we're going to start off by copying that opening up our terminal and um pulsing this uh npc there we go we already have that one that's great so we can uh Log into the NPC. Shit, shit, shit. I've not got my logs open. Ah. I'm gonna delete the logs. Make sure they're all nice and gone. And then we're gonna copy the file and just, we use the remove command. Um, a little bit about this command. It is used to delete a file. So we write rm space file name and we can remove. Um, I'm not sure if I talked about this in the last video, but uh, I'll cancel this. When you remove a file or do anything in the game that uses files, um, if we run ls to list what files we have, we only have this one file. So if we write remove f, it still works because it is the only file that starts with f. Um, if we use the command touch which generates a text file and write um, fapping because that's a funny word um, and we tried to cancel this and remove f we get an error um, because if we write ls again we have two file names with uh, with the same things here so if we instead if we wrote f9 it would complete and remove the file um, but what if we had two files that were named exactly the same well we could write remove the file name dot zip um, that would work but if you have someone that's uploaded um, a minor or something uh, sometimes it just it doesn't work like that so the other way to remove files um, and this works with uploading downloading all that other stuff is to remove by ID um, and if you've listed the files here you can either type out this uh, number that you need or just click it and it will automatically fill in the field to remove by the ID so yeah, that works if there's multiple files with the same names or files with stupidly long names or you just cannot be bothered, just ls, remove id, and then uh, click on the click on the number there. Um, once that is completed, up here in the top right we have all of our tasks, CPU tasks that we are completing. Um, and once that's completed, we can use jobs to see that it's going to take another 38.7 seconds at the time of that jobs command. So, we wait. And we wait. And while we wait, um, pay particular attention to the logs here. Um, somebody might be logging in while we're doing this. And uh, if they do, we can catch them. We can grab that IP and we can pulse the shit out of them. And we can... Uh, follow up on that after we've completed our mission of course we remove we get a red delete log in here so 
we're gonna make sure we get rid of that super fast once that's gone finish the mission and we have 327 rep and 1126 dollars very good very good